To study effectively, it's important to be able to read the right way. It's essential to know what you'll gain from reading different text types and essential to know how to read them. In this video, I will focus on how to handle the academic article, but I'll begin by noting the differences between a textbook and an article. A textbook compiles all knowledge within a topic. It explains theories and places them in a practical context. In the bibliography, you will find the sources. They're academic, very handy if you need to delve into a subtopic. An academic article conveys new research-based knowledge. It is focused on specific topics and problems, which are always put in a theoretical perspective. You'll find no explanations of topics or theories. In the bibliography, you'll find all the academic sources essential for finding either other relevant texts or authors. Many academic articles are only published after other respected researchers has evaluated the content. This is called peer reviewing. Academic articles are always structured in the same recognizable way. An abstract sums up the article from A to Z. This is followed by the introduction and a presentation of the literature that was used, the literature review. After the methodology, all research data and results are discussed. And the article is wrapped up with the conclusion. Almost the same structure as your own study reports. There are a few different types of academic articles based on which research method was used. Typically, there are qualitative articles, quantitative articles and literature reviews. Qualitative articles describe experimental research by which new knowledge is gained on the basis of qualitative research methods, interviews, observational studies and other research methods where researchers interpret data subjectively. Quantitative articles describe experimental research by which new knowledge is gained on the basis of quantitative research methods, which is everything that can be counted or measured, questionnaires, readings, etc. Methods where the scientist doesn't interpret data. Usually a statistical analysis is used for confirming or denying hypothesis. In literature reviews, the researcher doesn't convey new knowledge, which makes those articles secondary source types. Instead, he or she creates a theoretical overview of a topic and the related theories. Literature reviews are often used for discovering gaps in the existing research. For you, a literature review is a gift that gives a total overview of a specific problem and the related theories. Most often, academic articles are written in high-level English, describing a totally new topic for you and introducing a host of foreign words. So, why start reading a text that will possibly confuse you? Because an academic article focuses on a specific problem, which not always is the case with textbooks. It makes you knowledgeable about what previously have been researched and it describes specific analysis and research methods. It finally gives the possibility for you to reflect on things. To take in the content of an academic article, you need to read it in a certain way. There is one rule. Do not read the article from start to end just like that but read parts of the article in a particular order. If you need, ineffectively, if your eyes simply scan the lines but don't actually read, use a ruler to slow yourself down. If the article is part of your syllabus, you can actually skip this first step, but as it will provide a fundamental overview of the text, the 15 minutes are well spent. 
if the article is something that might be useful for a topic of your own choice, then this step will help you decide whether the article is relevant or not. Start out reading abstract and conclusion. If the text is relevant, you'll need to take a look at the tables and models presented to get an overview and a basic understanding. Conclude the first reading by outlining a summary of what you've learned using your own words. Second reading is the thorough one and it might cost you an hour of your life. In this step, you'll read the introduction and the literature review, the method and the data, the results and the discussion. Read actively and use the highlighter strategically. Mark essential headlines. Don't ignore what you don't understand. Look up unknown terms and Google Translate is no good here. Mark up everything that confuses you and discuss it with a teacher. Find other relevant sources and authors in the bibliography. One way to provide yourself with an overview of a long, complex article is to use annotation. An annotation is a code that quickly shows you where the important topics and parts are hidden in the text. If you just highlight the entire text, you'll soon lo lose perspective. You'll need to know these seven elements. You don't have to use the same letter codes. Find out what suits you. Most annotation makes perfect sense. Just to remember that the assumption and a hypothesis test are closely related. There needs to be a test of every assumption. I've made an annotated case article. Find a link to it from the video's YouTube description. Conclude your second reading with a summary using your own words and read all notes. If you read the article as part of your syllabus, then you can relax now. Your work with this article is done. The third reading is for those of you who need to read the article as part of a topic of your own choice. The keywords are to think and to reflect, because when you work with your own topic, for either an elective or your bachelor project, you have less support from your teachers. You'll need to evaluate and include texts by yourself and choose the relevant ones. Read all your notes, compare them to your annotations, and analyze the relevancy of the article and the context you want to use then. Work hard and enjoy.